In this video, I'll share with you 11 minutes of useless seat facts. Facts that might not matter as much to the gameplay, but it's still fun to know. Let's get into it. Did you know that outside at the main gate spawn in Clubhouse, you can find 500 chickens? I written on the wall? I really wonder what's the reason behind this. Glacier is the rarest skin in Seat, also one of the most wanted skins. You can no longer buy the skin in the store. Yana is the smallest operator in the game. She is 5 foot 2 or 1 meter 57. And they say Dutch trees are usually quite tall. Well, that's not the case for Yana. Mozzie is the smallest mill operator. He is 5 foot 4 or 1 meter 62. On the other side, Amaro and Thorn are the tallest female operators. Both 6 foot 2, that is 1 meter 89. And that's quite tall for women. I'm surprised Amaro even fits through a window frame that easily when she grapples in. Ying is the lightest operator with only 115 pounds or 52 kilos. Oryx is the heaviest operator in the game with 286.6 pounds or 130 kilos. He's also the tallest operator in the game together with Cade, as they are both 6 foot 5 or 1 meter 95. However, despite these random facts about height, height in Siege does not matter. It doesn't change the size of your character model. And even more random than height or length, you can actually find out who has the highest BMI, body mass index, of all the siege operators in the game. For male operators, that's Legion, with a 26.7. And for female operators, it's Gridlock, with a 32.3. The longest competitive Rainbow Six Siege match was during the CCS NA Season 3 qualifiers. Grizzly GG and Hat Academy were in the loser's bracket when they unknowingly took part in one of the most exhausting games of all time. The match had an incredible 32 rounds, lasting a total amount of two hours, three minutes, and four seconds from the moment they started the match. And that is just for one single map. Some best of threes are done faster these days. <coughs> BDS Eminem during the EWL finals this year. Royal Panda teamed up with a group of psychologists to determine the smartest gamers in the industry. The study included 1,001 gamers and technology users who were put to the test in four key signs of intelligence. Verbal intelligence, mathematical ability, logical reasoning, and visual reasoning. But before taking the test, the participants were asked about some demographic identifiers such as their gaming platform and their recently played game, which were used in calculating the results. Among all the games selected for this research, Rainbow Six Siege players were the smartest with a collective IQ of 120.3. Following closely behind is the detective skill-based game Among Us with 118.9, and Minecraft in third place with 116.3. I struggle to believe this if I look at my randoms in Siege sometimes, but yeah. And also random facts about operators. Sophia was almost drowned by three of her classmate bullies when she was younger. She's had trust issues since that event. And during an operation she had in Mali, she came in contact with a man holding a gun. They both fired at each other, not realizing that they were on the same site. The man was an undercover operative working on the same case as her. And this man eventually became her husband and they now have a kid. Sophia named her daughter Yana, after her father who was called Yan and passed away. This used to be part of the reason why Sophia could self-revive because she needed to stay alive for her child. The other part of that reason is that Sophia is prideful, stubborn, and single-minded, and thus can will herself into standing up just a bit longer. If he kills Sophia as Ella or vice versa, you get a sister rivalry bonus of 10 points. Kali has a bullet wound in her right shoulder. You can see this one on her back at her character model. Finca has an incurable disease. Her face scar was from CQB training with Capcan, where he slit her face from brow to cheek. This is also where she got the name Finca, meaning knife in Polish. And when Finca was first designed, the idea was to make operators have a speed boost, making Ash look like a 5 speed and opponents look yellow, similar to Glass's thermoscope. Wait, I've seen this before. Never mind. I've seen it from my enemies in ranked. That that damned Kali moonwalking around the map with 300 kilometers an hour and shooting 10 bullets per second. Finka also suffered radiation damage in Chernobyl, and she fought to become physically fit. She studied microbiology and got a PH. Tachanka often flirts with Finka while having a drinking contest. Tachanka is also divorced with two kids and has once been declared dead for two minutes. He makes fun of Capitao and Glass's eyesight. Did you know that through the stadium drone hole right here, you get to see a massive Tachanka statue? And another nice Easter egg is if you melee the block in Art in Villa, you'll get a Tachanka as well. 
the 35th operator, Dokubi, was the first operator to smile in their operator photos. It does also kind of help that she's one of the few operators where you can actually see their mouth on the operator card. And Mute, with 25 years of age, is the youngest operator in the game. He also has the highest IQ of all Siege operators, even higher than IQ herself. He graduated secondary school at age 12 and completed an internship in one year, then got a degree in electronic technology and computer code at age 14. Mute learned basic Korean to communicate to Vigil, who he considers a friend. Zero is the oldest operator, he is 63 years old. Yeager has Asperger syndrome. He is also very awkward with social cues. Yeager has mummy issues and loves dinosaurs and space. After never really seeing his mother and living with a careless uncle, he treats all of the team members as family and often checks up on all of them and genuinely cares for them. The EE-1D, which is Lion's Gadget, has a diameter of 4 meters, and its first design was smaller drones sticking to surfaces and revealing anything that moved within its range. The idea was scrapped later on. The SAT uniform of Ibana and Echo was designed as civilian clothing under special equipment to match the skyscraper map. The reason behind the GSG-9 uniform seeming so casual was to fit the undercover design, which is why you see denim jeans and IQ's iconic pink shoes. Castle is the most diplomatic and socially friendly of all the operators. He also used to be an NFL player and often volunteers to rescue abused dogs. He is also fluent in English, Spanish, Korean, and Latin. The Vulcan gadget design of Goyo was originally supposed to be thrown and shot, but troubleshooting led to the realization that the gadget would be too big for enemies to miss or too small for teammates to see. Mira's Black Mirror was based on military truck windows and how they could be hydraulically ejected if they were too damaged to see through. Nomad suffered hypothermia and lost two fingers. Ubisoft also paid close attention to this as you can see how she doesn't have the same diffusing animation, reload animation, etc. due to the lack of fingers. Ash's grenade launcher was made after asking, how could a bazooka be fit into Rainbow? As a regular bazooka would seem too extreme. Doc hates Lion and blames him for the death of his best friend and other GIGN colleagues. He is also Finka's personal doctor and makes sure she is stable during operations. Rook prevented a fight between the GIGN and SES after Lion punched Thatcher in the face by dragging Lion away. Sounds like it's not all too much fun in games between the GIGN and SES operators. The scar on Glass's eye was given to him by Rifle Kickback. His name also means eye, and he is a skilled painter. Glass is best friends with Fuse. And Fuse had a brother go missing, which the reason is classified. Every mission Fuse went on with his partners is also classified. And every mention of the classification made by Harry is quickly shut down and ignored. He also called off his marriage with his two-year fiancé. Bit of a strange guy. Blitz tends to joke around in serious situations. This is mostly entertained by Mozzie. And Blitz shows this with one of my favorite voice lines in the game, where he asks, Do you think I have time to use the bathroom? Kavira is a seventh of ten siblings, and the only girl, to a poor single mother from Sao Paulo. She is also antisocial and slightly psychopathic. Kavira was arrested at age 16 for theft and burglary. Hibana is in a relationship with Pulse, and they have a daughter together called Mao. Her name translates to Fire Flower, which her gadget is technically. She's also fluent in seven languages. Jekyll is an insomniac. This means he is unable to sleep quite often. Jekyll also suffers from survivor's guilt. He is considered the most unstable operator within Rainbow because of this. He is obsessed with not letting a target escape ever since the murder of his brother, and this led to the creation of his eye knocks goggles. Mira would be the director of Rainbow based on hierarchy if Ash and Harry were to die or resign. She is also the director of Rainbow's research and development program. Echo used to be in a relationship with Ying for a year. Ying still does not forgive Echo for the breakup. Legion fell into an oil tank when he was 10, which led to him ingesting a significant amount of chemicals when trying to escape the tank. His body formed an immunity to many chemicals after this. So nowadays, he just tends to make toxic soups in the goo mines. Frost often bonds with Capcan about hunting and trapping. Two annoying operators talking about an annoying subject in Siege. I didn't expect anything else. Ella walked around the streets of her hometown with food and blankets for homeless people. Maverick was held captive and his captor's identities and location was given to his unit by Nock to rescue him. He is also ranked top 2 in the intelligence from his city, and surprisingly he still messes up his Maverick tricks sometimes. Not so smart now, huh? 
Warden hates the look of his glasses and bugs Mira to fix it. He also collects watches and is a ladies man. He developed his gadgets when the US Secretary of State was almost assassinated by terrorists using stun and smoke grenades. Yana is albino and wears contacts to suppress her reaction to light. You can see this on the left and right side of your screen when playing her. Ace is the only operator known to have a public social media presence. You'll also see this in his elite animation. And now some short effects followed up right after another. Thunderbird once fought off a bear to protect Nomad after extracting her from an expedition. Bomai has set the world record for longest free diving and has an incredible lung capacity. Some of these sea top raiders tend to have interesting hobbies. Nock is a skilled fencer and IQ is a science fiction author. The interrogation mechanic that Kivira has was studied by R6 developers Developers by looking at the real BOPE interrogation techniques. Mozzie was a middle child, which is why he took on daredeviling stunts to stand out. And before patches, Clash's CCE shield used to keep operators almost completely still. Sledge loves talking about politics. He also goes on family trips with Maestro and their families. Smoke loves concerts, and he also has an adopted daughter. Ash would become director of Rainbow if Harry were to die. She's also fluent in five languages. Twitch has developed or contributed to over half of the gadgets within the team. And Azami refuses to take off her mask until she reclaims her honor. She plans to do that through Rainbow. And that concludes 11 minutes of useless Rainbow Six Siege information. Let me know in the comments which facts surprised you the most. Or if you have any other cool Siege facts, feel free to put them down below as well. If you like content like this, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I post more Siege content. We're getting really close to 15,000 YouTube subs now and your support is much appreciated. Maybe you like this knock guide or these Valkyrie camera spots. Thank you so much for watching, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.